and psychic medium Karen Reese with my co-host Sarah DeFelice and welcome to the Karen Reese Show. We have a great show for you with audience questions, readings, and a special guest to tell us about his near-death experience. Recently, Sarah and I had a chance to connect through Skype with Dr. Eben Alexander. He's a neurosurgeon and author of Living in a Mindful Universe. He told us how his life changed forever from his home in Charlottesville, Virginia. Welcome, Dr. Eben Alexander. So how did a neurosurgeon start to unveil the mystery of consciousness? Well, that's an excellent question. I had spent the first 54 years of my life thinking uh, I understood something about brain, mind, and consciousness, the nature of reality. I taught at Harvard Medical School in neurosurgery uh, for 15 years. Um, and then I went into coma very early the morning of November 10th, 2008. Uh, severe back pain, headache, uh, seizures, uh, deep into an unconscious state and spent the next seven days in coma due to something that according to modern neuroscience should have disabled all kind of dreams, hallucinations, or phenomenal experiences all. That is uh, the takedown of my neocortex, the outer part of the brain, the part that makes us human. And that's why my disease was such a perfect model for human death. And my doctors, by the end of that week in coma, expected about a 2% chance of survival, no chance of recovery. Uh, and that's when I woke up. And when I did, my brain was wrecked. I didn't even recognize the loved ones at the bedside. Uh, but everything came back very quickly. Literally within two months, my mind had returned completely. Uh, and it's just an extraordinary uh, journey to even be back here. But uh, that's my uh, story kind of in, in, in an essence. Oh my goodness. So explain, explain to us what happened after you were, while you were in this coma, what well, your, yeah, what your the, reality was then. The, an important thing to point out is one difference between my near-death experience and many that you read about in the literature is that I was amnesic. I had no memory of Eben Alexander's life during my journey. And of course, in the first weeks and months after my coma, I thought, well, that makes some kind of sense because uh, all of my memories and everything were deleted by this bacterial meningitis. And yet, of course, the memories came back, uh, which brings up an even more uh, extraordinary feature of all this, that memories aren't even stored in the brain. Uh, but it was um, an extraordinary illness that should have disabled any kind of conscious awareness, and yet my consciousness was much more real, vibrant, and alive than anything I had ever experienced in my life. So it, it was a, an absolute proof to me that we're conscious in spite of our brain. Our brain does not create consciousness. It's only a filter that allows consciousness in. And this kind of uh, illness that I had, especially in the bigger context of modern consciousness studies, is very strong proof that we are conscious in spite of our brains, and that consciousness is really fundamental in the universe and creates all of the apparent physical universe. And what was the landscape that you saw? Well, it all started in what I call the earthworm's eye view, a very ugly uh, kind of underground realm. Uh, I had no memories of my life before, so it seemed to go forever. It was also the first awareness I had of anything, so even though it sounds foreboding, um, given that I had memories of nothing else, it seemed okay. It seemed like the way life was. Good news is that didn't last forever. There came a slowly spinning white light that had a perfect musical melody, uh, and that white light served as a portal. It opened up into this brilliant, ultra-real gateway valley. It was much more real, vibrant, alive, meaningful, and powerful than anything I'd ever experienced in my life. And in that gateway valley, I was a speck of awareness on a butterfly wing uh, with millions of other butterflies and vast spiraling formations. Uh, there was this lush valley down below us. I remember all the plants, uh, blossoms, buds on uh, flowers and uh, on trees, things like that. Every bit of it in this incredible show of creativity and being alive. There was no sign of any death or decay. And there were thousands of beings down below us dancing in this meadow. Lots of joy and festivity up, being fueled because up above were these swooping orbs of angelic choirs. And that provided yet another portal to higher and higher levels. Those who've read my book, Proof of Heaven, will realize 
that the guardian angel, there was a beautiful woman on that butterfly wing with me, and she proved to be essential four months after my coma in identifying uh, the reality of this journey. Now, from that, uh, that uh, gateway valley realm, I ascended to higher and higher levels, all the way out to what I call the core, an infinite inky blackness filled to overflowing with the love of that divine God force at the core of all creation. And uh, becoming one with that force, something that obviously no human words can even remotely convey what that's all about. And in that core realm, it was really the origin, the oneness at the, at the essence of all that comes into being in this universe. So these are extraordinary journeys of consciousness uh, that show us so much how this material world and our kind of incarnations in this world uh, in many ways are part of a fiction. They are here to allow us to learn and teach as souls growing in this world. Uh, but our bigger reality is far grander than this material world alone. Thank you, Dr. Alexander. If you would like to find out more, just check out his website, ebenalexander.com. Still ahead, Karen will read some people in our audience, but up next, we take some audience questions. And now our friend Alexa Zapp is going to take some questions from the audience for us. Hi. What's your name? Where are you from? Linda from Buffalo. And what's your question for Karen? I just wanted to know how my mother and sister were doing. They passed away within six months of each other. Actually, they're having a party, Linda, from Buffalo. Yeah. Your sister likes to party, doesn't she? Yeah. Who's the Mary connection? Who's like the Mary, Maria, M-A-R? Who's? That was my mother's middle name. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, kind of, I can barely hear them. They're talking very fast. I kind of figured one of them. Yeah, they're having a really good time. When you see lights around your house flickering, that's your family having a good time at your expense. In other words, your house is haunted. Yeah. Yeah. But that's good, though, right? It's not the, the first more one the one I Yeah, exactly. Uh, the name Bill also comes up around you, or William. Who was that? Was that your dad? My or grandfather. Who's... Okay, I heard father, yeah. yeah. He's here, too. He knows how to have a good time, too. They're all behind me. They're waiting okay. for you. They heard you say you better come so you did okay yeah this is priceless wait to see yourself on tv with your family oh yeah <laughs> no they're doing well and your mom said i'll see you in your dreams tonight okay god bless you thank you you're welcome hi what's your name where are you from i'm barbara from buffalo hi barbara from buffalo i love the hair and i love the glasses oh, cute 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 <laughs> thank you What's your question for Karen? My question is, um, how is my sister doing on the other side? Sister, I know she's there. Yeah, she is. She's doing really well. She's talking something about flowers. Do you like flowers or planting or something about flowers? Or? Um, I just like the stuff that comes back by itself. <laughs> <laughs> I don't plant either. <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> and she's, who's Chris? Who's, where's the Chris? That's another sister that's in heaven. Okay, she said, I'm with Chris, and I heard him, your oh sister, God, too. Yeah, wonder. they're all behind me, yeah. You know, it's funny, because when I came out on set, I saw you, I heard, I need to talk to my sister. So that's, I had looked at you earlier, I don't know if you caught that, but yeah, they're doing quite well, they're having fun. Um, you've got a lot of important work left here to do, so, you know, get to it. Go go do some planting. Oh, Plant so a I, money tree. You that's mean, what you I keep do. saying, I'm going, I'm going next, and no, no one's falling for it. No, God don't want you, the devil don't like you, but Uncle Sam, say, keep playing. You know, keep paying those taxes. Yep, that I am. Playing a money tree. <laughs> okay, thank you. You're welcome. Hi, what's your name? Where are you from? Christine from Tonawanda. Hi, Christine from Tonawanda. What's your question for Karen? Um, I recently lost my fiance. I was wondering if you could tell me how he's doing. He's doing good. Who's a Dan or a Don connection? Dan? 
Mm. Dan, Don, D, something with an N he's showing me, something with a D, something on. Is it somebody that you have in the living? Don, Dan, something like that? He has that? a friend named Dan. Hello, girl. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to call you Sparky instead tonight. Because <laughs> he kept showing me Dan, Dan, Dan. He's actually standing right over that way. Uh, you can always count on Dan if you have any questions. That's what he wanted to uh, tell you. He's doing really well, um, and not to worry was his time, but he wants you to move on and enjoy your life. Okay. Um, something about, do you have a problem gassing up your car or you don't always gas it or what? I like to let it run out. Oh yes, that's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe you might want to put more gas in before it runs out. Just same with winter coming up the eye. But your boyfriend's doing really well, loves you to pieces. Um, when it's your time to get to the other side, you'll see each other. But in the interim, he said, you know, if you have any questions, talk to Dan. We'll always be there for you. Um, hang on. And in this lifetime before you incarnated, you both had agreed that his life would not necessarily have been as long as we would like it to be. He had a shorter, and he feels good. And something with his breathing, too, he feels better. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, because he's standing right there. By the way, he says you look gorgeous. Thank you. Loves you, and he'll drive home with you to make sure you put gas in your car. Thank you. You're welcome. God bless you. Thank you. Hi, Darlin. Hi. What's your name? Where are you from? Mary from Holland. Hi, Mary from Holland. And what's your question for Karen? I just want to know how my baby is. Is he still suffering? No. No, no. Um, do you ever smell flowers around you? That's your baby. I'm OK. Don't worry. I don't want any more tears. When you're sad, it makes me very sad. I always tell people, you know, if the shoe's on the other foot, you know, when we get to the other side, which at some point we all will, you know, you would want your loved ones here to be happy because when you're happy, it makes it easier for people on the other side because they can see us and relate to us. It's just, you know, obviously we can't always do that. Um, do you like chocolate, by the way? Yeah, who does it, right? <laughs> well, I'm supposed to be on a diet. I'm on a diet every day because your baby says, make sure you get mom the chocolate. Make sure. But yeah, everything's okay, and you couldn't have done anything differently, just so you know. Is his girlfriend with him? I got a yes on that. I got a yes on that. Your mom's doing well, but they're around your father a lot, though. And your son's being shown quite a bit on the other side. You couldn't have stopped it. Stop blaming yourself. You have to. And they're really happy, and he's out of pain, and he thinks clearer. And he'll be okay, and at some point you'll see him. Did you do something with a rock, too, or did you plant? Yep. Yeah, he loves a rock. Your oh, mother. This tree, I have a memorial rock. Yep, I saw the tree too. Your mother loves it as well. Um, do you have the necklace too? Yeah. I do. I don't have it on, but I do. Yes. Yeah, it's a beautiful necklace. Your mother loves it. <laughs> yeah. Do you have her rings too? I know. Yes, yeah. I have a mine. Oh, yes. okay. Good thing you wore them today, huh? Right. Yeah, you don't want to upset your mom. Right. But your mom assured me your son's doing really well. Keep an eye on your dad, and at some point down the road, you'll see him in your dreams. I promise you that. And thank you. you know, you're welcome. God bless you. Thank you. We will be right back. Coming up soon. As I started to come in earlier today, before I came up here, I knew that I was going to have a very sensitive case. And I know that Sarah and I were mentioning that up, and it is a murder connection, obviously. Yes. Yep. Yes. Yep. And would you like to tell everybody your first name? My first name is Shirley. I heard the name Shirley today, swear to God. You're my Shirley. When I was getting my makeup and hair ready, it took a while. Shirley took me longer than I expected. Just saying. Good one. Yeah, bad. I get Reese's pieces. You and I should probably connect later. Just saying. Shirley, we will. Anyways, obviously, um, this is your son, yes? Yes. Yeah. You know, it's really funny. When I was behind set before we came out, I had said to Sarah, I said, we have, um, you know, a younger male that crossed over because of murder. But he wanted me to tell you, he says he's doing really well. Um, what's the March-April connection? Is it his? His birthday is March. Your son is with me right now, and he says, Mom, I'm OK. Um, you still have questions about this whole situation, yes? Yes. And there's still questions about the um, uh, detective work that's going on? Yes. Yeah, I know. He told me that. He did that, too. You've got the same kind of smirk when you do that. <laughs> I know, because he's right there. I, that's why I'm laughing at that. Yes. It's not exactly what you think, but he said he didn't feel pain when your son passed out of his body. Okay. Yep. Um, 
I should have listened to you on a lot of different things, Mom, but this is something that wouldn't have changed, just so you know. And he said at the right time in the right ways, his karma will play a factor into those that did this deed, just so you know. He's also talking about a female that knows something about this, just so you know, and I think you know who that is, yes? Yeah, I won't say names just because we're on yeah. TV, but we can talk later. I couldn't wait to see you. He does give you a lot of signs, too. Oh, yes. yes, he does. Yes. And he kisses you before you go to bed, too, Shirley. Yes. Yep. Was there somebody that worked for the post office or UPS or something? Did you just get a package, or did you get a lot of packages from QVC or something? Um, yeah. My Amazon account, because okay. I locked myself out, is under his name, and so right. yeah, I'm constantly ordering things. <laughs> under his name, yeah, that's yeah. what he's laughing about. He goes, I know, she gets those boxes, tell him I know. He says, keep up the good work. He says, too bad I can't pay for it this time around. <laughs> yes. Oh. Yeah, I get a lot. You have a lot of shoes too, yeah? Shoes? Yeah. Yeah. You're like the shoe queen, aren't you? Yeah, they're in the basement now. <laughs> yeah, he says, Ma, you gotta get the shoes. But your son keeps reassuring me, he goes, Mom, I'm okay, I love you. We'll be together again, he says, but I don't want you to feel bad. He says, really, and he said, what you, and you gotta be real careful with what you put out there, he doesn't want you to say too much. Okay. Um, he said, let it go, let everybody do what they have to do, let law enforcement take care of that. Um, but he didn't feel pain. Tell my mother, I just didn't feel pain. So when things happened, he said, I was up out of my body before I felt any real pain, which definitely usually happens when those types of situations come up. Um, he does give you a kiss before you go to bed at night. You've been seeing his shadow, haven't you? Yes. At night, yes, that's mm -hmm. what your son said. Yeah. Is there somebody named Emily, Emil, something? M? Um, Emil? Uh, Emily? My, her middle name is Amelia. What is your middle name? Amelia. Amelia. Oh, you're my Amelia. Oh, that's a pretty name. My sister. Oh, okay, because I love that name. You should use that name your nephew said. That's what I call her. Oh, yeah, you call her? Yeah, she, call, she calls me Amelia instead of my first name. Oh, then no wonder why, because he kept yeah. saying Amelia. Oh, how funny, isn't that? Yeah. <laughs> that's my nephew. Yeah, yeah he's, he's adorable. Yeah. He's got a lot of babes on the other side, you know. <laughs> He says they're really hot. How about the food? The food's great too. Because you know on the other side you have a house, you have things to do, restaurant, Las Vegas, all of the above, right? <laughs> By the way, your name was Amelia in another lifetime too. Really? Yeah, that's why you chose it in this lifetime. Hmm. I think the next lifetime, maybe you should go with like Eunice or something, just saying. <laughs> he laughed at that. You like going to the casino, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's gonna help you the next time. You better, it's your aunt. He laughed at that one. Yeah. Yeah, you do like to go to the casino a lot too. Mm -hmm. You got some good lucky uh, lady around you. Did you paint your house or do some you want to do some? I did paint the inside my house, yes. Yeah, good colors too, yeah. Mm -hmm. He's been seeing it. You have like a lot of dead people in your house. They're not really dead, they're just out of the body. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah, she yeah. knows every time she comes there, she like freaks out. That's hilarious, Shirley, isn't it's it? Very sensitive. So. Oh yeah, you would be. And you're a good cook too. Yeah, I am. I know, your son told me that and your grandmother. I think we're gonna to come to your house later. I'm a grandmother? Uh, well, your grandmother, your grandmother told me that. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did I, it yeah. <laughs> Your son's laughing, by the way. He thinks that's hilarious. Same with your gram. Yeah, but totally. It's, it's, did he leave us a surprise? Because we have his girlfriend, and we don't know if she's going to have a baby or not, and we're praying she is. Uh, I got a yes, but that's a funny question. We should probably talk in private, mm -hmm. just so you know. Okay. FYI in that. But he's mm -hmm. really doing well. I love the name Amelia. That's a pretty name. Thank you. It's, it's my grandmother's name. Yeah, that would make sense, because I got a whole bunch of people coming in. Mm -hmm. That's a name that you should definitely use. Um, something with your shoulder? Do you have a oh, shoulder? Yeah. yeah, I'm feeling that. Thanks for sharing that. Your, your nephew's laughing at that? Jeez, I have Mom. a shoulder problem. She oh, you're both of us. Seriously, girls? Yeah. The same shoulder. Yeah. And I'm hitting the right shoulder because that's yeah. where I'm feeling. Yeah. Really, girls? <laughs> yes. You girls are bad together. <laughs> oh, actually, you had some fun past lives, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You were strippers in a past life. <laughs> <laughs> Your son's laughing, your nephew's laughing. But honestly, he said, I love you so much. And he says, I'm doing really well. And he says, listen, he goes, I want you to go on and live. He goes, until we connect, he said, I want you to enjoy your life. You have very important things to do. He didn't feel pain. And he says, I'll continue to see you in your dreams and give you signs. Um, and please don't be mad at the perpetrators. It's not worth you know getting upset and wasting energy on. God will take care of them at the right time, in the right place. And by the way, your son says, Mom, you're the best mom ever. You've always been my mother. I love you from the bottom of my heart. Thank so, you. You're welcome. God bless Thank you. you. Thank God bless you. you. OK, let's get over to the. Oh my god, I'm getting pulled. You know, I could pull down. You've got a new career. I got to go with you real fast.
You shouldn't have said that. I started hearing a mom connection. Yep, but that's okay. Where's the Ann connection? Was there somebody with the name Ann, like a middle name? Was it your mom's name? Or? All of us. My grandmother, my mother, my cousin, myself, my daughter. Really? Mm -hmm. um, I saw a new career around you. Were you thinking about making a change with work, or did you make an internal change with work? Yep. I did, recently. Yeah, yeah. you're happier now, too, aren't you? Yeah. You're really good at what you do. Your mom says you're a perfectionist. Is that true? Yes? Yeah. Yeah, you're a perfectionist on yourself, but not to others. Like, you know, there's different ways of being a perfectionist. Like, you could expect perfectionism from you, or you could expect it from others, that type of thing. Yeah. But you're too hard on yourself. I'm Drink some that. champagne. We're going to do that later. Okay. I'm in. I'm yeah. in. <laughs> really, Anne? You've had Anne and many. She's laughing about that. Yeah. 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 And there's more Anne's in the future, too. Just That'd letting you know. Do you drink a lot of cranberry juice? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is that your favorite? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I bet you if you put a little bubbly in it, like, you know, champagne, <laughs> your mom likes I, that. I usually do half water, half cranberry, and a splash of lime. A little bit yeah. of champagne. I'm, I'm, yeah. Shamu champagne. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> your mom says she's ready. She does come to you in your dreams quite a bit. Um, were you digging recently in your yard or something? Or you want to dig something out of your yard? Or you want to get plants going? What is up with that? I don't do yeah, gardening. We're, um, we're set to get new a concrete patio in the back. Oh, that's what she kind of said, something in the back. OK, yeah, I'm excited about that. You can drink your cranberry juice out there. Yeah, I, I will. I'll drink champagne You know, there. you should do a shot of champagne and a little bit of cran. I can do that. And it's good for you, too, right? Cranberry's yeah. good for you know your whole organs. Your lifeline is long, too. Do you eat a lot of nuts, too? You need to eat more nuts. OK. You have a nutty family, so you might as well eat the nuts. Yeah, for sure. I'm liking that. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Anyways, when you're um, upset about your mom not being with you, she truly is with you. So here's something to think about. A lot of times when you know we're just randomly thinking about whatever and suddenly somebody on the other side pops in our mind, we know for a fact that um, that person is trying to come to us. So I think that's a good thing. I like that, Anne. Yeah. Oh, by the way, do you have uh, coins? Yes? Are you starting them? Yep. I have my father's collection who he's still alive but he had a stroke so yep. i'm saving them good for bullion. the kids yep that's what your mom said those coins will be worth some money okay. so yeah we should talk about that later you'll need to look at your um retirement too because um, i'm seeing some areas that you need to up on this yep. yep as a for former sure. stockbroker my partner over there sarah the other former stockbroker a lot of times we'll see things you know psychically kind of an inside market trading kind of thing. I Good like thing it. I'm still not working, just saying, insider trading. But anyways, <laughs> so you, you need to tweak it a little bit. Okay. You know, at the right time, look at some FANG stocks, yep. too. I've been saying it. Yep. of great gifts to give away. A member of our studio audience will receive a $25 gift certificate to Elaine's Flower Shop with three locations in Western New York. Go to elainesflowershop.biz for all of your flower needs. We have gift cards to the famous Glen Park Tavern in Williamsville. This place has been around since 1887. Imagine the spiritual find there. Check out the menu at, the, at glenpark.com. And of course, a perfect place for any occasion is the Canal Club 62. Several members of our audience will receive a $10 gift card to this local American tap and eatery located at 62 Webster Street in North Tonawanda. Find them at thecanalclub62.com. We all love Devolio's from their gourmet oils, balsamic vinegars, and delicious food. Devolio's is a Karen Reese favorite. Check out their menu, locations, and shops all over Western New York at devolio's.com. And now for the live drawing, who will win a one-on-one -on -one with me for a private reading at my office? Alive but yet I'm dead I'm excited. Drawing. Me too. Okay. Here it comes. You have to read it. Oh, thank you. Thank God for contacts. <laughs> Just saying. 825037. Yay! <laughs> That's funny. I thought I was going to read her. Huh? 
Yes, oh, great. Congratulations. What a great Karen Reese show. Don't forget to connect with Karen on her website, Facebook, and, that, and at Karen Reese on Twitter. We're all over social media. Mm, socializing. <laughs> Reese's Pieces. And remember, it's important that we live each day to the fullest so that we can reach all our goals of health, happiness, wealth, creativity, and joy. Did you live your intention today? Thanks for watching. and then like a version of the dream will happen to me like the next day and it's kind of like freaking me out and I don't know why like I had a dream that I saw like a like a dead mouse like in water and the next day like I saw a mouse in my pool and like weird stuff like that's been happening so oh. I don't know like why and I just wanted to ask it. oh you're just a lucky person um, oh, actually really? that's your psychic yeah like because wow. your dream states are actually you know uh, periods where you can get you know information about the past present future as well as people on the other side so if anything I wouldn't get worried about it it's great you know like for job hunting you can yeah. you know use your psychic for job interviews negotiation right. keep that as an so FYI dream that I find like $20 on the ground. Right, <laughs> like, pick it up fast, okay, exactly. Yeah. But yeah, make so, sure it's more than $20, yeah. sweetie. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the thing too, Alexa, what you want to do is get a notebook and start uh, right. recording all your impressions that you get at night, because you'll start to see a pattern and you'll start to see all your psychic impressions mm -hmm. coming true. So, but never be fearful of it. Okay. It's just God's way of preparing you. And you're okay. always in control. Okay.